Damn. My bad, y'all. My um, alarm went off and disrupted the video. So, it's going to be a part two to this motherfucker, unfortunately. I hate when they do this. Uh, or I hate when it does that. Like, I should have turned my alarm off, but whatever. But anyway, Six of Cups Reverse um, Page of Swords came out on top of that. And yeah, so a lot of these people from the past that did you dirty, tried to fuck you over, motherfuckers that were doing spell work on you and shit. Now these motherfuckers are spying on um, Page of Swords. They're watching your social media. These people want to know what you got going on in your life, what you've been up to. Like, you know, they want to update on your life, basically, Page of Swords. Some of these people are stalking your social media and shit. Um... They're inquisitive. They want to know what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? It's these people from the past because that shit came out on the um, Six of Cups Reverse. And with, the page of, with the Page of Swords. Definitely could be an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius that's spying and shit. Um... Some of these people may even try to re reach out to you because the page of swords talks about communication. So this could be a text or a DM or something. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, these karmic feminines, these gold digging ass bitches, they spying and lurking and shit, probably trying to watch Divine Feminine. Like, girl, this is your fucking problem. This is your exact fucking problem, bitch. Always worried about somebody else's business. Page of Swords. Mind yours, bitch. Tend to them fucking kids. Take care of yourself. Take care of your responsibilities, your household, your stability. And quit worried about everybody fucking else. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Bitch, your money already kind of funny and you steady lurking online and shit. Bitch, the last place you need to be is on social media. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Some of these hoes trying to check and see if this spell work and shit work that they've been doing. No, bitch, it didn't work and it'll never work. Like, that shit is only for low vibe motherfuckers. The, the collective... Divine Feminine has surpassed you on so many levels, bitch. That shit, that magic or whatever the fuck you call yourself doing is fucking child's play, bitch. Like, it's not affecting anything. Yeah, look at this. Three of Swords flew out on top of the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So now these bitches heartbroken and shit. And like I said, for some of you... These divine, these uh karmic feminines, they were either trying, they were trying to get somebody hurt, like real shit. Some of these bitches like resorted to stabbing this karmic masculine and shit. Now these bitches going to jail for second degree murder and mass slaughter and shit. Like these bitches are stupid. Like how do you let somebody get you in your body that bad, bitch? Like you got kids and shit, bitch. Do you think? Did you ever think that? Damn, if I take this karmic masculine out, that mean I'm going to go to jail and my kids going to go to the system, bitch. But see, these bitches, Queen of Pentacles reverse, she don't care about none of that shit anyway. The only thing the bitch ever cared about is money. She cared about what she looked like to the public and shit. She don't even care about her own kids. Bitch willing to stop at nothing. Ruin her own fucking life. Ruin her own baby's lives and shit. Little babies, little karmic babies don't even stand a fucking chance because they motherfucking parents so goddamn retarded. Sad. Three of swords. Now they want to be heartbroken and shit. Now they want to cry wolf. Bitch, don't nobody feel sorry for you. You've been out here trying to ruin people's lives for a minute. And now you want motherfuckers to feel sorry for you? No, bitch. You, you deserve every bit of that. Yeah, look at this shit. World car reverse. I told you. World car reverse. These motherfuckers are repeating a lesson, repeating a life lesson because they didn't learn what Saturn was trying to teach them the first time. So now they got to start over, redo something. World card is the definition of insanity. 
that's doing the same thing repeatedly expecting a different results. So for a lot of these karmic feminists, this ain't the first time they didn't try to steal somebody's man. This ain't the first time they didn't try to do spell work on a divine feminine. This ain't the first time they tried to break up a marriage. This ain't the first time they tried to baby trap a nigga. This ain't the first time they didn't try to like, this ain't the first time they ain't did this shit. A lot of these bitches been this, in this, posain, this same position before. Three of swords at least three different times. A lot of these karmic feminists, they run through niggas like they want, run through draws. It's like when the spell work and the manipulation don't work on one nigga, they just move to the next nigga instead of just being like, you know what, maybe I should just stop this bullshit all together and really just get my life together. No, no, no. They steady want to keep going. Steady want to spell work them and shit and do all of that. Bitches is slow. That's why they going insane now with the world card reverse. Stop. She gonna get a whooping. Why's the world card reverse? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Now they're being forced to get on the path to righteousness. And it's gonna they're gonna be moving slow, but it's time for them to get on the right path and shit. Real shit. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Wands reverse. Now they holding grudges. Now they mad. These bitches are fatigued. They're exhausted. They're tired. Worn the fuck down. Holding a grudge. Paranoid. Trust issues and shit. It's like some of these bitches got PTSD from this shit. Or some of these masculines do. Onyx. She gonna make me mad because... She in my kitchen fucking with some shit I'm busy fucking with. How's the moon card here? And that ain't scared. Moon card. Fear, anxiety, worry, paranoid of the unknown and shit. Don't worry about it now, bitch. You weren't worried about it when you was doing this shit. When you thought the shit was going to go into your favor. When you thought that you was going to get this man. When you thought that you was making divine feminine mad. You weren't worried then. A lot of them are having nightmares and shit. I'm telling you, usually around a full moon, you have intense um, dreams and shit. Vivid dreams, lucid dreams and shit. The full moon is tomorrow. This is the moon card. Yeah, three of pentacles. Because for a lot of them, they had orchestrated this plan. Look at her on the ground playing damsel in distress and shit to get the attention of this uh, masculine energy here. And look at Divine Feminine. She did, Divine Feminine been knew what you karmic feminines were up to. Bitch, she seen it. Still didn't give a fuck. You see the contrast, the, the, the dark feminine, the dark feminine, the karmic feminine, she has the dark hair. The divine feminine, she has the light colored hair. So see, these karmic feminines, they, they purposely orchestrated this plan with the three of pentacles. They purposely was doing this shit. Working in cahoots with others and shit. Three of pentacles trying to work against the divine feminine. Oh yeah, they was doing this shit on purpose. Why is the three of pentacles here? Get out of there. She got her butt toe up. Well, look at that emperor. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, star card reverse. So that emperor energy could be an authority figure. Um, it could be a masculine that's in a position of power. Because that could be court with the three of pentacles. That could be the court. The emperor could be the judge and shit. Yeah, look at this star card reverse. It's an Aquarius out here. Yeah, this is feeling hopeless. Whatever this three of pentacles with the emperor card. A lot of a lot of these um karmics are concerned about a court situation. Three of pentacles with the emperor. 
it's like they're scared of what this judge is going to like. You know what I'm saying? They're scared of what this judge is going to say, what this judge is going to rule in. And they should because I don't feel like it's going in their favor. Star card is reversed. This is not getting wish fulfillment. This is something that's not happening for you. So I feel like this judge is going to rule into the favor of the divine. Like real shit. And like I said, these karmic, these karmic energies, the only thing they did is still star car reverse is ruin their reputation. A lot of these people were well-known and popular and shit. Some of them did have their own businesses. Some of them were well-known for whatever the fuck. Now they're known for this negative shit that they were doing. Whatever this third-party situation that they tried to sabotage to keep this man or win this man, it's like their reputation is ruined now. It's like, it's like people realize how pathetic these women are. That's real shit. Look at this shit. And they know it too. Look at that nine of swords. Bitch is worried, concerned, feeling hopeless, anxious, panicked. Some of them having headaches, insomnia. They can't sleep because they know they're fucking guilty. Nine of swords, they know they fucking guilty. They know they ain't had no business doing this shit. They know this court situation is not going to go in their favor because it's evidence. It's like they know it. Nine of swords. Why else would you be sitting up at night in a nine of swords energy if you know you weren't guilty for some shit that you did? Mm -mm. And a lot of them tried to hide the shit too with the moon card. Why is the nine of swords here? Four of Cups. For a lot of them, it's just like they missed out on opportunities. People are not interested in them. Like in all areas. It's like because of whatever this star card reverse is. That's what I'm saying. Like star card reverse can be somebody who's well known. And they could have been looked up to in a good light at one point. They could have been looked up to as a healer. Or, you know, somebody who's professional and shit. But with the star card reverse, they mean there's some sort of stain on their reputation. Plus now, now, so now, four cups, people aren't interested in working with them. They don't want to do business with, with them. And it's all because of whatever this shit is that they were doing behind the scenes. I don't care if they were doing spell work on people. I don't care if they were sleeping with people's husbands and shit. I don't know what the fuck they were doing behind the scenes. But because of this shit, it's like people don't want shit to do with them now, which in turn is affecting, affecting their money, right? Like if you're a business owner, because a star card could be like a, a business in the beauty industry. So if you sell like makeup or lipstick or face, whatever the fuck, you could do anything. You even be like an IG model and shit. This is like they're them not being able to get work because of whatever this shit is that's attached to their reputation. It's like people like, nah, you come with too much drama or you got too much shit circulating around you and I don't want that shit to be spilling over into my shit. So, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't want to work with you type shit. That's what I'm saying. They don't realize that every time you do something, it has a ripple effect. These karmics be out here doing shit and not even realizing that this shit just not affecting you, bitch. It affects people around you. So now it's affecting your business. It's affecting your work. It's affecting your kids and shit. But y'all be thinking this shit funny. Now four cups. Now ain't nobody interested in you. Don't nobody want to work with you and shit. Now your life is boring. Four cups. Boring. Mundane. Waking up doing the same shit every day. And if some of them are trying to date and shit now, they're trying to move on and date somebody new. It's like the people that they're meeting, they don't even like four cups. They're not liking none of their options now. Four cups. Four cups can also be in, can speak to being ungrateful too. It's like, this is why these bitches are in the position they're in, because they're ungrateful. They're not grateful for where they are right now, what they have right now, because these bitches want the best of everything. Queen of Pentacles reverse. They are gold diggers. They want the best relationship. They want the best clothes. They want to wear labels. They want the best car, the best house. They want all this shit that don't matter. Whole time, four cups, not being grateful for what God has blessed you with, period. 
These are ungrateful, bitter, smothering, materialistic assholes that will sell they self, will sell they soul for the right type of price. Real shit. Hermit car reverse. Could be a Virgo out here. We definitely got a Virgo. We got an Aquarius out here. We got Cancer energy out here. We got Aries energy out here. Yeah. The, the hermit card reverse is somebody who doesn't go within, somebody who doesn't self-reflect, somebody who doesn't want to look in the mirror and shit because they know they're not going to like what they see. Um, hermit card reverse, these are miserable motherfuckers, like real shit. Hermit card reverse, that's somebody who's suffering from depression as well. And, her and hermit card reverse, these are motherfuckers who who've been shunned from their community it's like whatever this shit is that they they did star car reverse they didn't left this stain whatever this is that didn't ruin their reputation whatever it stamped them with the scarlet letter it's like people don't want to fuck with them now hermit car reverse people are shunning them now they don't want nothing to do with them no i don't want you around no you're not welcome over here no i don't want to work with you this is what's happening to them no nah, we don't no nah, i don't want to date you it's like people literally do not want to fuck with these karmic feminines now because of how they get down. Whether they try to set up a, a masculine, whether they just try to steal somebody, man, whether they try to sleep with their with they friend or whoever the fuck it is, these bitches ruin their life. This is this is how their life is going to be. Yeah, look at that. And this is justice. This is justice. This is the karmic skills being balanced. This bitch not being able to be successful anymore because of how she abused it when she had the opportunity. They didn't ruin their shit. Justice is out here. Mm -mm. It's a shame. Why is it not a cooks here? Yeah, so for some of you expect an apology today. Yeah, look at you. As soon as I say apology, because I'm looking at this Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords come out. So yeah, as soon as this person reach out to you, for some of you, it could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But as soon as this person reach out, reaches out to you or messages you trying to apologize and shit, you're instantly going to be in the Queen of Swords energy. You're going to be on guard. Like, what the fuck type shit. And some of you may read it. You may open it up and read it. But for a lot of you, 17, 17 on the timer, you're going to fuck around and leave that motherfucker on red and shit. It's too late to be trying to apologize. This type of shit these people were doing, it's too late to be trying to apologize for this shit. Like, bitch, you really try to, like, take me out, replace me. You, you abandoned me. You ghosted me. You lied on me. You tried to ruin my reputation, slander my character and shit, bitch. And you think we finna be cool after some stanking ass apology? Bitch, you got the game fucked up. Queen of Swords, get your ass out. Get the fuck up out of here. Period. How's the Queen of Swords here? You too smart for this shit now. These low vibes and all these manipulation tactics these people be doing, that shit don't even work on you no more. All right, bitch, go read a book or something. Why's the Queen of Swords here? Queen of Wands, standing your ground and shit. Queen of Wands, you is not playing. Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands is already known to be feisty. And with the Queen of Swords, you're very direct and to the point with how you speak and shit. It's like, what the fuck can I help you with? Start talking because I don't even got a lot of time, bitch. I'm busy. Booked and busy. What? What you want to do? Apologize? Like, this is this type of energy. This is a fierce-ass energy. Real shit, you smart and you fucking fine, divine feminine. Now motherfuckers want to ride the wave. Now they want to be on your team. This is that I couldn't beat you, so type of joint. I mean, they try everything. These bitches, these bitches stoop so low. They try everything. They ain't tried to use sex, magic, spell work, all type of shit to try to defeat you. And it has not worked. So at this point, it's like, if I can't beat them, what else can I do but join them? But it's like, join them? Bitch, Hermit Card Reverse, you've been shunned. People don't want nothing to do with you. So you finna join what and who? No, ma'am. You done ruined your reputation with the Star Card Reverse. Nobody even want to fuck with you.
when all you had to do was leave Divine Feminine the fuck alone. That's all you had to do. Yeah, look at this. Five of Wands. These people want to make amends with you now. That's what the Five of Wands are right. It's conflict, arguments, fights, disagreement, drama and shit, pettiness, low vibes, jealousy and shit. Five of Wands the reverse. Motherfuckers want to call the truce now. They want to wave the white flag. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight with Divine Feminine and shit no more. Let's just be cool. Let's everybody know. Nah, we ain't about to do shit, bitch. It's up and it's stuck. Five of Wands reverse. Yo, look at that page of cups. I'm telling you, motherfuckers, don't, you have more than one person trying to apologize to you. But for some of you, you know who this karmic feminine energy was that was trying to do spell work on you and shit. A lot of y'all definitely know who this karmic masculine is. So like I said, you be trying to, you could be getting two different apologies from two different people because it's a knight of cups and a page of cups out here. For some of you, this could even be one of your own damn kids trying to apologize to you about some shit. Because they was on some karmic shit. On the page of cups here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers going to be crying and shit. Trying to get teary-eyed. Don't nobody give a fuck about your tears, bitch. Nobody. Especially Divine Feminine. Yeah, look at that. Now somebody wants to choose you. Lover's card of right. Now they want to be in a relationship with you after they chose a karmic feminine over you in the past. Because the lovers talks about a choice. And the fact that it's coming out in the upright now, the fact that the lovers is coming out in the upright means that in the past it was reversed. Meaning that they chose the karmic um, the karmic soulmate over you. Now it's upright. Now this person want to choose you. They know you're the high vibing soulmate. You're the one with the better pussy and shit. Now they want to be on your team, Divine Feminine. Ace of Cups. Let's start over. New love. I apologize. I love you. Da 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 da. No. Absolutely the fuck not. So for some of you, I'm telling you, with this Scorpio Four Moon Collective, don't let this karmic masculine come in and apologize and manipulate your emotions. Even though I feel like, I mean, the Knight of Cups is upright, Page of Cups is upright, Ace of Cups is upright. This very well may be a genuine apology. But I just wouldn't, I mean, look, everybody got free will. Some of you are going to take this um, counterpart back. Some of you are not. But either way, whether you if you do decide to take this person back, I would still be advised to not make it that easy for this person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they coming back and they apologize and shit. Page of Cups could be like sweet nothings and shit. So this person going to be... Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have picked you the whole time. I'm so in love with you. It's always been you, blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit. And that shit can lead you into the bedroom with the lover's card. So I'm telling you, this motherfucker come in with all these tears and all this emotional shit, trying to apologize and shit. And then you end up in a bed with this motherfucker. Don't make this shit that easy for them because these karmic masculines still need to do the work. Okay, true enough. They understand they should have chose you. Okay, that's fine. You should have chose me. But that don't mean we finna fuck. That don't mean you deserve my energy. That damn sure don't mean you deserve some of this divine pussy just because you recognize who I am now. Like, we're not finna sweep this shit that you just did up under the rug. That's not what we finna do. So, for those of you that plan on taking this person back, be mindful of, like, making it too easy for this person. Be mindful of just accepting an apology and then everything is A-OK. -okay. Like, no. Or you can do this shit if you want to. But look at that. Five of Swords just flipped over. This person is going to do the same exact shit they did to your ass last time. Because for some of you with that Five of Swords, this person is jealous of you low-key. Yeah, they apologetic. Yeah, they realize who you are now. Yeah, they realize they should have chose you. But with the Five of Swords, they're still trying to win at all costs. They're still trying to compete with you. This person still wants to have victory over you. So it'll be right up their alley for them to apologize, even try to cry and shit, and then get you in the bed and shit. They're going to feel like they won, and you're going to be feeling stupid. I mean, but like I said, teach is on. 
But for me personally, I know my crummy masculine, he fucked up too bad with me. I am not even remotely interested in that motherfucker at all. It's nothing sexual about him that I desire. He actually fucking disgusts me at this point. So I don't give a fuck about no apology. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. A lot of y'all are choosing to just be single. Because it's just like, no. Like, no, thank you. Okay, you want to choose me now? That's good for you. But I don't want your ass. So, no. I was a magician here. I'm telling you, this person's trying to manifest you. Like, real shit. They're trying to tap into your energy. This person's trying to connect to your energy telepathically. Because a lot of you had this person blocked or they don't have your number and shit no more. For some of you, they do. Others of you, mm -mm. this person is definitely trying to manifest you, though. Know, magician. Yeah, strength card. You're holding back. And for some of you, you are the master magician. For some of you, you've been manifesting so much new things in your life. You still got blessings coming in and shit. Strength card. It's all because you preserved your energy. It's because you... Let this shit make you stronger. You didn't retaliate. You didn't try to get on these people level and be vindictive or get them back and all that type of shit. You really held your power type shit and used the energy to manifest other shit in your life. That's why all these blessings are coming in. You took the negative energy and transmuted it into something that would actually be beneficial. So a lot of y'all started platforms, businesses, all type of shit. Some of you didn't got new jobs and actual careers. Some of you didn't manifest it. You didn't graduate from school, college, all type of shit. And now you're stronger than ever. And a lot of you are celibate too with the strength card. You not letting nobody hit that. <laughs> Why is the strength card here? This strength card, you could be Aries, Virgo, strength card, strength card, Leo, but magician could be Aries or Virgo. Yeah, look at that devil card. Now motherfuckers are obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your energy because you pulled all the way back. They don't have access to you no more. So these people are out here fucking miserable. Like real shit. Devil card. Now motherfuckers going to be obsessed with you and shit. Yeah, the ten of ten of wands. I mean ten of swords reverse. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to try to make amends after doing the Ten of Swords to you. Six of Pentacles. They want to balance shit out and shit. Some of you, these people need your help with the Six of Pentacles. They need financial assistance. Some of them need advice and shit. Yeah, Five of Swords, but not. But they still trying to win at all costs. These motherfuckers, they do not like you. It's like they, it's just that they couldn't defeat you. They couldn't defeat you, but they still don't fucking like you. So it's just like these fake ass apologies and shit motherfuckers want to do now. Yeah, you're the hierophant. You're in your Christ body and shit. You've learned your spiritual lessons. You have spiritual rank. Okay? You are somebody very wise. You have a lot of knowledge and shit. Very respected. You have morals. You have standards and shit. People know that about you. And these people are jealous of that with the five of swords. They're jealous because you have integrity, because you hold yourself to a higher esteem. You should, you hold yourself to a higher regard, and they don't. They're jealous of that because they don't have the strength and the tenacity to do what you do. It's like these type of people like to take the easy way out and shit. Yeah, look at that page of wands reverse. Yeah, will of fortune reverse, not a cups reverse. Yeah, some of these people have been. They part of their karma was getting the STD and shit. So now they stuck with that shit. They know ain't nobody gonna want them and shit because they sit down there. It's just like this. I'm done with this shit because I gotta go anyway. I gotta go to work. So this has been y'all reading. Okay. This was part two of part one. So I appreciate you if you stay to watch the end of this video also. Um, like I said, please like, share, subscribe, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.